Hey, Chet's crew and other viewers. Got another review for you today. And as you might have seen from the thumbnail on the title, we got organic capasa corn chips. And uh, in blue corn. And we'll be back right after the uh, intro to uh, check them out and give you our review. It's time for another episode of CHTV with your host, Chester Hallett. You could see funny food reviews. Watch him drink it all from the skull. Funny stories. Or whatever else comes to his crazy mind. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, we're back. Got my wife here with me on this one. Hey, hey. And, uh, as you've seen here before the intro, we got blue corn, capasa. It's, uh, stone ground, volcanic stone. Gluten-free. And, uh, gluten-free Mexican volcanic stones, ground our corn, it says. And, uh, just gonna open them up here. Pour myself some out. I, I don't think they're flavored. I think they're just uh, like a regular tortilla chip. I think they're made for like made for like dipping in salsa and stuff like that, or making uh, nachos. Or, oh, that would be good. But uh, they're supposed to be all organic and all natural. And I'm gonna get my wife to read off some stuff from the back of the bag here. When I pass it over to her, she's got her glasses on, I don't. <laughs> and, uh, as you see here, they're, they're, pretty. they're pretty blue. They don't smell. They're purpley colored. They just smell like corn. Yeah, it just says, unlike most corn chips, which use highly processed corn flour, k pasta, tortilla chips, are crafted from gra from whole kernel corn, the traditional way they've been made in Mexico for generations. There you have it. Alrighty. And you can go to their website if you want to actually see how it's made. So you can go to their website, uh, and didn't you say this was uh, these were made in British Columbia? Uh, yes, they are. Richmond, B.C. Richmond, B.C. And if you want to see how they're made, uh, you can go to kpasafoods.com. They don't really smell good. Just plain tortilla chip. Um, they don't really have much for flavor, they're just the flavor of the corn. To look at them, they look like kind of... Halloween. You almost get a slight right? flavor of salt, like mm. But this looks like something you set up to a Halloween party, like to make it look spooky. Yeah. And she actually, um, I don't think we're going to review them because I think they're exactly the same, just different color. But uh, she got uh, a red one too that was dyed with beet juice. So that'd be cute. Uh, that'd be cool to put them. Mix them. Side by side and, and put them together into a, like a Halloween uh, nacho mm. thing or something. But uh, but no, I, I think they're good. I mm. And they're, uh, for being organic, I find sometimes organic stuff doesn't have much flavor. But the, the corn is really good in them. They give you a recipe too. Mm. Make some smoky chipotle guacamole for your chips. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, and that's just fun up there. They got like recipes on the side of the bag. <laughs> Get this one. Tablespoon of lime juice, two avocados, ripe avocados, pit it and peeled and chopped, of course. Quarter teaspoon of salt and cumin. Hmm. <laughs> and one teaspoon of hot sauce, chipotle flavor. The hmm. infamous cumin. Mm hmm. My favorite. <laughs> no. I... He says sarcastically. Mm -hmm. 
That's cool though. They give you like a little recipe on the side. And... But no, I think they're good with some salsa. Mm. Or some nacho or cheese. Or just to make them into nacho. Uh, yeah, nachos. Mm. They'd be, they'd be real good. So if you're having a Halloween party, get the red ones and the, because they're sort of, and these ones. Mix them up and make like a spooky mm. nacho dip. Hey, that'd be really cool for, because these ones almost like represent a black color. Mm. The red and the black color together be like vampires or something like that. Mm -hmm. It would be pretty cool. And then you get the edible gummies that are shaped like spiders or something to put on top of your guacamole dip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be cool. As you can see, I keep stuffing them in my face because they're pretty good. Mm. They could do with a little more salt on them for me. But. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, the plain tortillas are more for dipping or mm. making it a making nachos and stuff anyway. So, but they're gluten free. They'd be good. Uh, these be real good too on a uh, taco salad. If you want to mm. make taco salad and break these up onto it. Yeah. Gluten free and whole grain. So they're actually really good for you. Mm. At this point, I'm just sitting there eating them on camera. <laughs> I was going to say, it's like we just keep shoving them in our pie hole. But no. I think for overrating, we got to take into consideration that they're not flavored. And that they, uh, they are just plain, uh, Nacho chips. Healthier than what? Yeah, and they're organic and supposed <laughs> to be healthier than than the regular ones. So, uh, what would you give them on a rating there to five? Keep taking all those things into consideration. Well, because it ain't got the salt for me, because I'm I like my salt. I give it a three, because it do taste pretty good, but just that missing that little bit of salt mm. for me. Yeah, and like I say, uh. I think if we'd had some salsa to try them with, or or, yeah, I never even thought or any kind of a dip, I, I think it would have would have been a lot better. Would've but anyway, been first in the bag, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, she gives them a three out of five errors, and I'm I'm probably going to say about the same. Like I say, uh, they're good for what they're supposed to be. Like I mean, they are what they say they are, and uh, I don't. The traditional pressed corn and all that stuff don't really impress me much. Like the it's curiosity got to corn me is corn is corn. Like it, I, the curiosity got to me because of mm. the color. I was sort of wondering like what the and Annette just picked them up because flavor. it's a new product that we have never seen before, and uh, and that the uh, they're made with the blue corn and curiosity. <laughs> and uh, she thought at first I think that uh, they were two different flavors because one yeah. was red and one was was uh, blue, but we see now like they're. They're both just natural. Well, the other one's supposed to have corn, beet, beet juice, and beet. Powder. Yeah, they're, the other ones are um, are red because they're colored with beet juice, and on plain corn, I think, or yellow corn. They're organic. Uh, so. But we both give it three or five hours, and with that, we'll say, remember, if you can't laugh with me, laugh at me, but keep laughing. Have a nice day. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider dropping a like and uh, if you'd like to become a member of chet's crew it's very simple and it doesn't cost a cent just hit the subscribe button and if you'd like to help me grow the channel please consider sharing the video on other forms of social media it helps the channel out very much thank you and have a nice day